Alrighty, so we got another video today. We're gonna to be watching Pink Ward versus uh Trick 2G's Volley Bear in the top lane. It's gonna be very interesting. I think last year was the last time we've seen it. Is he going one pot? Wait, what's he doing? Oh, sapphire refillable into I think he does sapphire refillable. Wait, he's not even going refillable. What the heck? Um, I think he does this into like free scaling matchups. Wait, volleyball is kind of a hard champion. It's not a free matchup Season at all. Six theme is the song. But um, let's see what he does. So he needs volley bear, which just perma pushes as aftershock. I don't think Victor G wants to interact with them, but honestly, he probably should because this Shaco champion is probably easy for him. I'm not too sure, and I think this is a hard matchup for anyone to deal with in the top lane. So let's see what he. Oh, what? Queuing in, he doesn't start W. Oh, I know he's done this before. So what he does is he pulls the wave, so it pushes into him, and then he can free farm at his turret. And he's not in. Look at this. He's he's not even in uh in uh, range to be spotted. So he's gonna do this. He's gonna pull it. We're on it here. Victor D doesn't know that he's pulling it. And this wave is going to crash into him. Uh, and he's going to die. And if the jungler comes, I don't think... He, yeah. Look at that wave. Beautiful. What the heck? He's not even touching it. Now it's going to push into him. We get to execute. Now he's going to buy refillable, right? Or what's he going to do? This doesn't work because the next wave catches up before. Oh, wait. Does he have to teleport? Oh, he can't. Tell me about refillable. What? Wait. He's basically just rushing into uh, Lost Chapter. Oh, he's, he's... I have 35 second delay. I don't need to hide the map. The hell? Oh. Just to be a CSing god, is he gonna be a CS? Yeah, 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 he knows how to do this. And his turret doesn't take any damage. Just because, oh, oh, what the? Oh, okay. Oh. Welcome to the society. Thank you so He gets all the heck. He gets all of this. Wait, get that! Oh my god, he gets that. Tower picks barely any damage, by the way. What did Trick? Oh, he's proxying. Oh, Trick is going to die, I think. The... Yeah, I'm like wondering where his wave is. Then I look at the minimap and I'm like, okay. I prepped the wave so I would uh, CS under turret. That's funny. Now he can last hit it. Wait, how can he last hit it? Oh, he has. I'm like. How can he last hit it? But he has the pot that makes I'm him have right five more true damage. Chapter. Is he gonna hard push this? Yeah, Trick 2G might have to. Oh no, he's died way faster than this. Where did he find the strategy to do this? He got 29 CS out of, wait, 6, 12. 19, 25, 31. I think it's 31. I could have counted wrong. What's going on? Okay. You got Comet proc. He's going to teleport back. What the hell? This is so crazy. Refillable? No, oh, he's just not even interacting. Both lanes are, laners are not interacting because what he did early game. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't. 50 is trying to proxy. He's pissed and. No, Volibear isn't really a hard matchup. Not a hard matchup. I mean, yeah, the way he played, oh, what the hell? I'm gonna be honest, I think if somehow Trick 2G can freeze the mini wave into his tower. Wait, what if, um, if Trick held the wave, the first wave, like right here? No, but it still crashed. Wait, hold on. It's still meet at one point. No, it would push into him, I think. If he if he held the wave, yeah. If he if he just held, I mean, if he has to hold here for like a while. He's gonna be like very low hit point. 
But if he, if he, if he, he'd be like maybe half. But if he, because then his minion wave would eventually crash right here, and then it would slow push into his turret. But I think that's a way you could do it. But I think what he want, what Trick wanted was for his wave to crash into. Oh yeah, Trick wanted his wave to crash into an enemy turret, so he would lose CS. But then. I think Warrior has done this so many times. I'm gonna try to proxy. I'm gonna pop this early so that I can place a box. This box will last two seconds longer because I have extra AP from the uh, pot. I'm gonna place one more box here. And prep the clone. What the f- Is this a kill? No, it's not. It's just it's just poke. No, he has all the way. Okay, I mean he I got a shield. Okay, so he won lane. A little bit closer. I believe a Shaco is like winning lane. <laughs> to say but this is like the <laughs> like, I don't this is a new thing I haven't seen before on uh, him do before I didn't see I did see him do in my game lost I don't remember why Come up. Oh my god. Oh, he's tilted. I'd be so. Oh, I'm tilted. Oh, all that CS. Oh. So if you know how Pinkwood plays, like one time, probably won't fall to the proxy. It's really good if he always faces new players. I didn't know that attract. What the hell? That it attracts the minion wave? What? Okay, well, like, anyone can kill him. Oh, never mind. He got mad. I have to Q out. Is he going for next proxy? He did get lost chapter. Yeah, he can go for next proxy. He just killed a Mumu. He's got 13 seconds. So, with this wave, it's easy. Ah, one minion. What was that? Unfortunate. They're just cute over the wall, moving smarter. And a Moo could be here, but he has Q to screw with them, so it's like a waste of time. There? Oh, yeah, it was one Q. Like 200 gold. Okay, let's see what happens. No way. No, 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 no. I would do that. I know. I, I was thinking he would do that stupid, <laughs> that stupid I know he's bush. Back to tower sooner than I will. So I'm just gonna leave base before being full. And ulti right here and prep for clone because he's gonna shove. He's gonna have temp. He's gonna have tempo, right? Okay. He's got good tempo for why not getting a lot of hit point. Let's see what happens. Actually, he could have came back to lane with more, with probably full hit point, to be honest. But because really. he's right now standing, so I guess his timing was off. I, I mean, this champion seems like it doesn't die. I think people will never kill this thing. And what can I say? Uh, okay, they lied. They, I lied. Oh my god, he got out. I 
How? What? Killed him. It's like three plates, isn't it? Shit, that's a lot of traps. And this, I don't think he has CP. Thank God, that was four plates, three grubs. Oh my god, it's the full tower. He's level 9, it's there in 10 minutes. One kill just, just, just what the heck. Okay, the so pink one lane, one gank, absolutely destroyed that turret. Secondly, he got through the early game by the cheese. He goes, he goes needless rod. Got it into. I know this pink board really focuses on CS and doesn't interact with his laner a lot. Actually, he does some cheesy ways to, to destroy them. Oh, this game seems bad. Like, top is winning, bot's winning, mid is winning. Wait, fiddle middle. Look you. Players have some interesting chase cheeses when they one trick. I don't think that leastens a one trick. What was he trying to do? Next wave. Just gave his bounty for free. Probably ulti here. Oh god. He's gonna go for the plate. This will be fun. Can he kill him here? Oh, he has ult. I don't think he- he's just a harass. I don't think he can kill him here. Oh no, he killed him. Oh no, oh no. I guess he didn't see him put the box in there. Oh my god, this is so stupid to watch. Pinkwood might be the best shaker in the top in the world top lane. Look no. at the bounty again. It was. I feel like it was Jin. Oh, there's no Jin. It was um. Wait, right. This thing just spoon fed him a uh, spoon fed him a uh, 500 gold bounty. Your turret has been destroyed. And they got a turret. And who is that? Box. We fall for it. Oh my god, he's going for the plate. He's dead. Not dead. He can't die. There's no way he has no mana. That kills? Oh, it's level 4e. He's got blue buff. Oh, he has blue buff too. He can just chase. Um. Oh my god, he flashed. Oh, he almost killed him. 
Actually, almost killed him. Okay. Yeah, pink ward one lane by. This Frog. one's okay. I think Shaka's mono is just really old and makes it look a little wonky. But for the most part, it's fine. What did he just do? What? What was that? I saw his character just warp. I don't know who's building this loose rod and maybe it's Death Cap or Zanyas? Battleflame? Okay. Hey. Capping the, the thing. He shielded the clone to make it look real. Alright, here we go. Just some harass. Just some, just some good old harass. That trick did he, he didn't even play bad. He just got, she's proxy fucked. I think we're still not interacting with him. I think he still loses if he um, just put a box on him and eat him. I, I, yeah, I think Picard still loses his lane. Kind of funny. He actually got the turret as well. What the hell? They had Rift Herald. Point four. Battle Flame? Well, Death. He just goes straight up Death Cap. He doesn't have Gathering Storm or Absolute Focus, so. He's not getting any free runes for that, but. Blackfire Torch doesn't have an AP ratio, so... Oh, he's prepping the clone, but I guess it's going to be just for Wave Clare. Here, well, Jungle, I played Archivist. I played top lane. Doesn't he have, um... Ultimate Hunter? But I know the cooldown... is like 80-70, but it starts at 32 because his clone will last for a long time and he just uses it to bomb people. Oh. Okay, this matchup is, uh... Very interactive. <laughs> Very interactive. Both Malibu top laners are proxy. Off the tower on cooldown. Oh my god, his clone's gonna come here. Oh my god, Let's look at his clone. Oh, is anyone gonna fall up? Yeah, look at that fiddle. Uh, why is no one seeing it? Who knows, but I think his whole team is dead. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, an FF vote is coming. That clone setup for the Baron or Dragon play was really, really well timed. What the f Okay, they actually have to off it. Well, that was a little crazy. I mean, the early game was crazy. And all, everything I saw, mid game late game, I kind of wish this team was inting. I don't want to see how, how AP Shaco top could 1v9, but I actually don't know if it's a 1v9 chat. But, anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.